The La Gloria Schoolhouse is the pride and joy of the Monterey County Agricultural and Rural Life Museum. Each year, thousands of students and visitors to the area experience a moment in the life of turn-of-the-century students as they visit the schoolhouse, sit in the desks, and write on a slate to learn a lesson. Starting with the first known schoolhouse in 1635, located in Boston, education has grown to be an essential part of American culture. In 1846, Mrs. Olive M. Isbell opened the first school for American children in California in an old adobe near Santa Clara Mission. She later moved to Monterey and opened a school in the Custom House. A year later, the first California one-room schoolhouse was erected in San Francisco. To better reach children throughout the area, one-room schoolhouses were built throughout the state. The La Gloria School was first organized in 1873 and was built by local people. In 1887, a local tax was voted on to build a new school building, which was located on a one-acre lot at the intersection of Gloria Comfora and Gloria Roads, about five miles southeast of Gonzales. The tax was able to fund the building of the schoolhouse, outhouses, and fences for a total of $1,325. Each year, the school was improved with the additions of new books, furniture, pictures, and a horse shed. In 1895, the school trustees purchased an Etsy organ for $90. Pepper trees lined the school grounds, and it had three garden plots and a flagpole that was built in 1898 and stood in the center of the yard. Like all country schools, La Gloria was the entertainment center for the community. Dinners, exhibitions, and patriotic entertainment were often held at the school. In East of Eden, John Steinbeck described the role of the country school. In the country, the repository of art and science was the school, and the school teacher shielded and carried the torch of learning and beauty. The schoolhouse was the meeting place for music, for debate. The polls were set in the schoolhouse for elections. Social life, whether it was crowning of a May Queen, the eulogy to a dead president, or an all-night dance, could be held nowhere else. La Gloria School was closed as a functioning school in the early 1960s. It remained vacant until it was moved to San Lorenzo Park in 1980 to become an original part of the newly created museum complex. Sponsored by the King City Rotary Club, the restoration of the schoolhouse began in the summer of 1981 and was completed by the work and dedication of local volunteers. Using diaries of the LaGloria School former teachers written from 1896 to 1915 and the recollections of one-time students of the school's guidelines, the schoolhouse was restored using the donations from the public of items including desks, books, pictures, and furniture. The memories of Rita Hargens, who taught at the LaGloria School in 1898, helped determine the original layout of the room. Through the help of Mrs. Hargens and Myrtle Kratzkin's notes, volunteers were able to return the school to its turn-of-the-century appearance. Notable items in the schoolhouse are the blackboard that runs the walls, the teacher's desk, and the organ, original to the schoolhouse and still in working condition. A typical day in a one-room schoolhouse generally started at 8 a.m. with the ringing of the bell, either located in the bell tower, as with the LaGloria School, or with a handbell. Students would form two lines outside the school, one for the girls and one for the boys. The girls would enter first and stand by their desks or benches while the boys entered. The desks were situated from smallest to largest, as the youngest children sat in the front and the oldest students sat in the back of the classroom. A single teacher taught the entire class, usually ranging from six to 40 students. The lessons that the teacher taught usually included reading, writing, arithmetic, history, and geography. Using level appropriate textbooks and slates, students worked in groups. They were required to memorize and recite their lessons with the youngest being called to the front of the class to recite their lessons first, while others continued to work on their respective lessons simultaneously while awaiting their turn for recitation. Today, the schoolhouse is host to thousands of students and visitors of all ages, seeking to experience a moment in history. The LaGloria Schoolhouse of today is a beautifully restored homage to the past that puts the visitor into the seat of a turn-of-the-century student complete with a slate and chalk. School tour visits to the museum provide students with the ability to reflect on and compare the lives of students from over 100 years ago to their own lives through hands-on personal experience, teaching them to see the world and the history around them in a broader, more relatable manner. 
The LaGloria Schoolhouse, located within San Lorenzo Park, is available for visitation Friday through Sunday, 11 to 4, or by appointment. Groups and school tours are available by appointment as well. We invite you to visit the Monterey County Agricultural and Rural Life Museum and take a step back in time with a tour of the LaGloria Schoolhouse, as well as spending time exploring the other six standalone museum buildings.